Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here on this mournful day. As I'm sure you all know, our mayor, Mayor Edwin M. Lee, passed away early this morning at Zuckerberg San Francisco General. He was 65 years old. I want to thank Dr. Susan Orlick, who is here with us today, and the dedicated professionals who cared for the mayor last night. Our thoughts and prayers are with Mayor Lee's wife, Anita, and his daughters, Tanya and Brianna, at this time. When he passed, Mayor Lee was surrounded by his family, <coughs> by his friends, and the colleagues who loved him. Ed Lee lived a life of service, cut far too short, cut short far too soon. Like me, Ed grew up in public housing. The son of working class immigrants, he developed early on a profound sense of community, a commitment to helping others. His father was a veteran and his mother a seamstress. They instilled in him a humility and selfless work ethic that he maintained throughout his entire life. The mayor's father passed while he was just a teenager, but heartbreak could not derail him. Ed earned a scholarship from Bowdoin College, a prestigious liberal arts college in Maine. And after graduating, he relocated to the Bay Area, where, like so many of us, he fell in love with the city that he would call home for the rest of his life. He attended Bolt Law School at the University of California, Berkeley, and joined the Asian Law Caucus. Ed Lee fought against discrimination, working on the front lines to keep tenants from being evicted. He was, from the dawn of his career, an advocate for the powerless, a voice for the overlooked, someone who fought for those in need before himself. That commitment to others defined the mayor's three decades of public service. As a director of the Human Rights Commission, as a director of the Department of Public Works, as our city administrator, and then as our mayor, we tend to forget, but when Mayor Lee was appointed in 2011, he faced tremendous challenges in this city. San Francisco was enduring the fallout of the Great Recession, rising unemployment, and growing worry. But the mayor was undeterred. He believed everyone should have the opportunity to have a good job with a good wage. And through his work, more than 140,000 jobs were created here in the city and county of San Francisco. And San Francisco passed one of the highest minimum wages in the country. He believed everyone should have a secure place to call home, which is why one of his first campaigns was for the Housing Trust Fund that has invested millions of dollars in rehabilitating affordable housing and building new affordable housing here in our city. Ed Lee led efforts to rehabilitate and rebuild over 7,000 units of public housing. He always said he didn't want folks like him and me to be known as public housing residents. He wanted them to be known as San Franciscans. Mayor Lee was committed to helping those who were experiencing homelessness and those suffering from mental health and substance abuse. He explored every option and embraced any idea that could help move people off the streets into safe, stable situations where they could be on the right path to health and recovery. Mayor Lee believed in the power of opportunity. A rebuilt home, a reborn community could inspire individuals to reach for their dreams just like he had. He believed in a city where a poor kid from public housing could become mayor. Ed was not a politician. He did not always deliver the best soundbite or carry the room with unspoken charisma. Flash never mattered to him. Disagreements never deterred him. He was humble and determined. No matter the job he held, he was fair 
and collaborative no matter the heat of the moment. What mattered most to him always was helping his fellow San Franciscans and occasionally delivering the almost perfectly timed corny joke. Mayor Lee endured many tough political battles, but they never, they never dimmed his spirit. Opponents may have disagreed with him on policy, but everyone agrees that our mayor was a good man with a good heart. He believed above all else in building bridges and solving problems. Everyone who had the pleasure of working with Mayor Lee will miss him tremendously. From the members of the Board of Supervisors who are here with me today, to the community advocates who worked alongside him, and the San Franciscans for whom he served with all his might. The flags in our city will fly half mass for the next 30 days. Our first Chinese American mayor, a man who has left an immeasurable legacy for the city and county of San Francisco. And I now must assume the responsibility and I ask for your patience and I ask for your support and I ask for your prayers. Our city's values have never been more important. And in the months ahead, let's carry on in Mayor Lee's honor. He has earned our affection because he was one of the sweetest men any of us have ever known, and he will be truly missed. Thank you all for being here, and we will have Dr. Ehrlich talk about um, what happened at the hospital specifically. Good morning. First, I would like to, uh, on behalf of the team at ZSFG, Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, to express my deepest condolences for Mrs. Lee, uh, his family and loved ones. This is indeed a sad day and a great loss for our city. Mayor Lee arrived at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital by ambulance shortly after 10 o'clock last night, uh, Monday, December 11th. He was in critical condition and we attempted life-saving measures for several hours. He died at 1.11 a.m. on the morning of Tuesday, December 12th, this morning. We expect the medical examiner to, to determine the cause of death, and his family has asked that we share no further medical information at this time, uh, and because of state and federal privacy laws, uh, we need to respect their wishes. Thank you very much. Thank you, doctor. And I want to thank all of the department heads, all the city staff, all the commissioners and elected officials, our lieutenant governor and former mayor Gavin Newsom is here. Thank you all for coming and being here to bring the city together at this trying time. And now I'd like to ask our city attorney to talk specifically about what comes next. As you all know, I am currently the acting mayor and will assume that responsibility and our city attorney can provide further details as to what will happen in the months to come. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, I would just first like to uh, echo the sentiments and the condolences of uh, Mayor Breed and Dr. Ehrlich, and I know for the entire community, about the profound sense of loss that all of us feel on the passing of Mayor Lee, and I'd like to offer my condolences specifically to his wife and family and just to let them all know that I, I hope, I know, that the entire city family um, will be there for them as they go through this difficult time. Uh, you heard Dr. Ehrlich uh, talk about uh, Mayor Lee passing at 111 this morning. Under Charter Section 13.101.5b, at that time, uh, Board President London Breed assumed uh, the duties of uh, acting mayor. He has all uh, the powers and responsibilities that come with the office. And she will have all of those duties until such time as the Board of Supervisors 
um, votes on a successor should they choose to do so, although they, although they are not required to do so. In any event, there will be an election June 5th, 2018, where uh, 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 the next mayor will be chosen to fulfill the unexpired uh, term of Mayor Lee, and that term will end on January the 8th, 2020. That's a very broad overview of where we are now. Mayor Breed has all the powers and responsibilities and duties uh, of acting mayor by virtue of her position as uh, board president. And what occurs over the course of the next uh, several months will be determined by what actions, if any, the Board of Supervisors uh, chooses uh, to take. And with that, I'd be happy to take any questions that anybody has about the process. Will the Board of Supervisors be voting on this matter today? Uh, ver no, they will not be. What was the question? Will the Board of Supervisors be voting on this matter today? And the answer is no. Is there a time frame for the Board to vote on an interim mayor? The, the Board does not have to take any action. And there is not a timeline. And uh, for that entire period of time, should they choose not to take any action, uh, uh, Mayor Breed will be both the acting mayor and the president of the Board of Supervisors. So she has her position as acting mayor by virtue of her position as president of the board. So just to clarify, um, there will be no additional member of the Board of Supervisors appointed during this interim period? Uh, mayor, uh, there will not be. Board, uh, 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 mayor Breed has both positions. She, she still continues to have her uh, Board of Supervisors position and president of the board, and she is the acting mayor. Yes. Yes, I have a question. Um, in June of 2018, when does the new candidates have to have their filings for the election? Yeah, uh, that, uh, that's something that obviously has not been top on our uh, list, but that's something that we're examining filing deadlines. We've really been focusing on uh, making sure that we had a smooth transition uh, to ensure that there was a continuity in city government, and that's what we've been focused on. So excuse me, one other backup. So it's nothing in the charter that indicates that at all? No, I've, I've given my answer. We're still examining that. Does anybody have any other questions for Mayor Breed or Dr. Elric at this time? I'm sorry. We will not, we're not answering that question at this time. They're not answering. So uh, our city attorney, Dennis Herrera, has already made that clear for now. I am currently still um, the supervisor of District 5 as well as the acting mayor until at such time the board decides if they would like to make a decision to select someone to fill the, the term until the next election. Can I just make one more question? Gosh. Just thinking about Mayor Ed Lee, can you talk about personally what he meant to you, perhaps anything you have learned from him, and what you think his biggest legacy to the city will be? So I've worked with and have known Mayor Ed Lee for over 20 years. and. What I appreciate um, about the mayor is his commitment um, to uh, public housing, mostly because when I first became a member of the Board of Supervisors, I made it clear that what, that was my, he asked my top three priorities. And I said, public housing, public housing, public housing. And as someone who grew up there and spent most of my life there, Mayor Lee, very similar situation, we bonded over that. And looking at Robert Pitts and looking at it going from this place that was completely falling apart to just painted walls and new fixtures and, and how beautiful it looks and the fact that he really was steady on helping to make this happen is really what I will always remember about him. His commitment to um, tune out the noise and focus on trying to get the job done 
and I really will always appreciate him for taking my priority seriously and helping to get that work done. He was a dedicated and committed public servant, and I will never forget him for that. Thank you, Tara.